this. It's a nice brim. There we go, fish on, boys. Oh my God, this is a lively one. Look at that. Just a gorgeous rainbow trout. No, he came off. He came off. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Fishing with Separate episode. This is the first episode that is back from all the flooding that we have gotten in my state. So a lot of things have changed. Even at this spot that I'm at, I have fished over here a bunch. And there used to be a dam that was right here. And it all just got absolutely flooded away. So this is just like one long stretch of river now. There used to be falls down here. Now, the water is a little bit murky. So I got a nice shiny spoon on just in case we can cast out here and get a little bit of shine out of the water. Now, I don't know if there's gonna be fish in here. That's why I wanted to come check it out. Um, now in this stretch of river, right over here next to me, there is really big browns up in there that might have just flushed right down to meet with the other river that's down here. So these are actually two meeting rivers. Um, right now we're actually under a bridge and uh, we have this nice big rock right here and uh, there's not much visibility in the water so we're going to cast it out. We're going to see what kind of luck we can get. It's starting to rain so the bridge is giving us cover but let's cast out see if we can get any luck here today. So we're down on this ledge here. So what we got tied on is we got this cast master spoon. It's got this green and pink colorway to it. I might just cast straight across and just bring it right in front of this fast water. I'm not sure what the visibility is going to be like. I'm not sure if there's even going to be trout here or not. So it's one thing we might do too is we might cast down in this water. This water is a little bit more clear than uh, the river down there. That river is still really muddy. This one here is a little bit more clear, just a little bit of visibility. Not much though. The spoon is not sinking that much. This must be one of my smaller spoons. I thought this was one of my bigger ones. But I think it just might be one of my uh, smaller ones, so it's not going to sink as fast. This means we'll just have to let it sink a little bit longer. I can just barely see this spoon in the water. Oh my god! What was that? What in the world was that? I can't believe we just got that on video. I don't know what that was, but we need to get out there now. That had to have been a big fish. That, that definitely had to have been a big fish. I want to catch that. I think that was a big brown. Came right up to the surface. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to see our spinner or not. What in the world? I'm going to cast it a little bit further up of where he was. And I'm going to let this sink down. There's got to be just a massive brown trout in here right now. We're going to bring it slow. We're snagged up on like a branch of some sort. I'm going to loosen up our drag a little bit. Because if we hook that big fish, we want him to have a little bit of drag. Not too much, but we want him to have just a little bit. I'm going to move closer to this edge over here. I'm going to try casting over this way. I'm starting to second guess if that was a fish that jumped over there. Because I would have thought for sure it would have bit by now. Or maybe even, we probably would have even seen it jump again. That's my thought at least. But it could be too that I'm just not letting it sit long enough. So I might let this cast sit for just a little bit and we'll retrieve it close to the rocks over here. I don't know if you guys can see how high the water got here. But it got right up all in that bridge. You just see all the down branches in there. Oh, we got to fish on boys. We got to fish on. There we go. This is a good fish. No, he came off. He came off. No. Dang. That was an okay size brown. It was probably like this big. We got it just by jigging it right over here. Oh, look, another one. Okay, jigging it's the way to go. They liked it when it was jigged. They're sitting all up in that left side. We did not get a good hex set on them though. So at least we know now that they like the jig. They don't like it when you just reel it in. There we go, fish on, boys. Another fish on. Yep, they like the jig. It's another good fish. Get him up on the rock. Yep, there we go, boys. There we go, boys. Nice. Just a 
beautiful brown trout. Whew. Gorgeous brown. Looks like a stocky from this year. He is a lively one. We're just gonna get this hook right on out of him. Just barely hooked. If he would stop wiggling, we could get a better look at him before we throw him in the water. He's just a lively one. So there he is. It's a gorgeous brown. He is just full of energy. We're gonna get him back in the water. We don't wanna keep him out for too long. Now I do believe that he came up from the other river up into this water body. Let's just get a nice look at him here. Jeez, we need to get him back in the water. We don't wanna keep him out for too long. There he goes. That is crazy. <laughs> we had literally just lost that one. I think they're all bunched up over there. That is crazy. I did not think that we'd be able to catch fish here today because the water is still pretty murky, but I think it's just clear enough where we could jig it over there and they're just hitting it right on the jig. I think we were just bringing it too far across the water for them to see. Let's try that again over there. Let's do the jigs again. We gotta let it sink first. I wanna get right back where we were before. There we go. That is crazy. So I think what it is too, so I can just briefly see it. I don't have my polarized glasses on because it's not really sunny out today. <clears throat> but that dam used to be right here and I can see some remnants of it down here. I think it's slowing the water down right over here in front of them. So I think what they did is they took the opportunity, they came up where the water is a little bit more calm and not as murky as the other river down there. And I think they took advantage of that to come up here and get a meal because it has been a little rough for them here recently. That is something. Let's get back over on that side. I need to let it I need to let it sink a little bit longer. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we just had another bite, but I think I failed to set the hook on them. Just continuing to do the jigs. I think what they're doing too, I think they're hanging up along that bank right there. I think it's a little bit easy. The reason I think that was stocked down from down here too is uh, if that was a brown from this river, that thing would have been massive. I mean, it would have been a huge brown. So there's, uh, so for this episode, the reason we're not doing a catch and cook is, um, the reason we're not doing a catch and cook is because of the flood here recently. These rivers are a little polluted and uh, we don't know really what got into the water here. So it could have been some nasty stuff. And uh, from the edge of this bridge up anyways, we can't keep up any, we can't keep any trout. So there's two reasons why we're really not doing a catch and cook, but mostly because of the first reason, because because I don't know what kind of pollutants are in here and I really don't want to figure out. So we most likely won't be doing any catching cooks until probably the fall time, maybe like a month is when we'll go back to doing them. And when we do them, we're gonna be doing uh, brook trout because uh, the little creeks and streams that have brook trout, those will be a lot cleaner than these main rivers. <clears throat> I'm gonna be casting here for probably another I'll probably give it another 30, 45 minutes. So this episode might be a little bit short. Um, this episode is mostly just to kind of test out the waters and see if fish were able to stay here with how fast the water was moving. And it looks like these fish were able to find refuge under a rocks or something like that because there still is browns here. And uh, most of you know that this is one of my favorite brown spots. So it's good to know that there's still browns here that we can uh, come and catch. I might try to come over here and do some jigging too. We know that over there was pretty bomb, so we'll give it a try up in this fast stuff a little bit. See if anything's hanging around. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna reel it across this fast water. Instead of bringing it straight up from down it, we're just gonna cut right, right across all of it. Since we did have technically two fish on, they're, uh, they gotta be able to see a little bit. Mostly when I jig though, they're able to see it a little bit better. What's promising to see too is that the one fish we were able to get in, he was pretty chunky. He wasn't skinny by any means, which means that for this last couple weeks when the water has been absolutely flooded through here, 
That means that uh, they were able to find some source of food. I thought we just got bit again. So I think we are getting bit, hang on. Wait, what? What are we caught up on here? Oh, that's why. Okay, I thought we uh, thought we had a fish on, but we were just kind of tangled up here. I want to try to get back up in this area because I really think that there's something up in there that they are really feeding into. Whoa, I think we just got throttled. I don't even think we really had to reel in when we're over here. I think it's just kind of going in front of them and they just can't resist. There we go, fish on, boys. Oh my God, this is a lively one. That's another fish on. Let's hope we don't lose him. We got some fast water here, we're bringing him up. This is a rainbow. Hold up, boys. Whoa. Okay, this is a first in a while. Holy smokes. This looks, whoa, easy. He came right off. He is a lively one. I think this is a wild. You can see the spots up on his back there. He's a lively one. Look at that. Just a gorgeous rainbow trout. I did not expect us to catch rainbows here today. These trout are very lively. We're gonna get him right back in the water here. I did not think we were gonna catch rainbows. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Fish number two. This spot is loaded with browns. I don't know where that rainbow came from. So up further in this river, they uh, stock rainbows as well. So they stock rainbows all through this river. Now this river here, there's no stocking absolutely zero stocking so everything that comes out of this river upstream is all wild wild browns maybe some wild rainbows it is possible but i think i think that the browns and the rainbow we got came from this river here and they decided to come take refuge up in this river because it's a little bit more calm you can see how the water's moving down there so i think I think they're just making refuge up here, at least until the bigger river clears up. Whoa, oh, I think we're snagged. Ah, yeah, we snagged. That's all right, we're gonna try a different color spoon anyways. I might go with a bigger one. So let's go ahead and tie on the new spoon. All right, so we're just gonna get in our bag. So do this right here bag of goodness so quite a bit of colors we can try out and I'm just loaded up with spoons if you guys are new to the channel that you don't know spoons is what I fish I mean that's just what I fish so we have the bigger version of that which might be really money look at this right there that's the one I'll give you guys a closer look at this spoon it's just a brown trout bait I mean it's just heaven on earth so this is 100 percent what we're going to use without a doubt in my mind so just check that out it's just a brown trout shiny spoon and it's the bigger version too so with the spoon we were casting before this one was a size smaller than this so i'm hoping a we can get bigger fish b and then second off we can get it to sink down fast and i think that's really going to be the secret here at this spot all right let's go ahead and tie this bad boy on Okay, so we're all tied on. Tell me that just does not look like it's gonna be the bomb diddly here. I think this is gonna be the secret. I think we jig this and we're bound to get some nice fish, some nice browns. And since we know there's rainbows in here, we'll probably catch a couple more rainbows. So that rainbow we caught, it actually drifted over here and that rainbow slammed it as it was kind of spinning through the water. Uh, we just snagged up our new spoon. Let's see if we can get it to release here. Oh, we're good, we're good. Okay, I thought we just lost our new spoon. I was about to be pretty upset. So right there is where we had that rainbow bite us. I completely forgot that we have a bigger spoon tied on. So we really gotta be careful with how long we let it sit. This is a good spoon, so we don't want to lose it. Okay, it's sitting right in this fast water. I'm going to let out some wine, just gradually. So the first brown we caught was definitely a lot better than the rainbow we caught. 
but one thing's for certain is that the brown trout was fighting way harder than the rainbow trout which i thought was interesting all right so i casted this one way down instead of jigging this one i'm just gonna reel it right up through here just in curiosity if anything's gonna bite i'm gonna try to bring it across this fast water too see if we can get slammed up in this kind of see all this water that's getting churned up here I think it's a possibility that we have some fish sitting right up in there or right before it even. We're just gonna reel it real slow. We'll jig it down here too. That's one thing I haven't really tried yet. I haven't tried jigging it in the fast water. Let's give that a try. It's gonna be interesting too because if we don't catch any fish with this spoon, then it could be that the color is actually what was helping the trout distinguish what something that they could eat was which makes me wonder is that i wonder if my rainbow trout spoon would be money here Well, I think this bait is all done with. I don't know if you can see, but somehow we completely busted the hook right off of this thing. And this is made out of metal. So I think, I'm pretty sure I cast it into the bridge. And when I say pretty sure, I mean, I'm about 95% sure. So it looks like we're gonna have to retie again. This spoon, it's retired without even catching a fish. So let's tie up again. tied on this time we got this rainbow trout spoon same size it's a bigger size but we're gonna see what this action can kind of do for us i'm curious if the color is going to work better so let's try it out do a quick battery change so ooh, see he's feisty oh see he's hooking himself up really good here okay we're gonna need a pliers I think for this one he is not helping himself right now yeah we're gonna need our pliers for this one. all right we got our pliers this guy is tearing himself up right now easy okay Now that he has kind of uh, finished smashing himself, <laughs> this trout is so lively. So there we go. Now this trout, I'm pretty sure it came from upstream, but since he's been out of the water for a minute now, we need to get him back in the water. There he goes. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he was gonna make it <clears throat> because he was just kind of sitting in my hand. But as soon as I gave him just kind of like a little bump, he went swimming right off, so. That worked out. Oh yeah, look, you got a nice one too. Let's get back out there. Let's see if we can get another one. If we catch another one, then we're gonna head on out of here. Um, but if we fish for like another 20 minutes, 
and we don't get any more luck, then we're gonna call it. Man, that was a nice brown though. That was a lot nicer than the other one. So where he's fishing, I think looks pretty good too. He's been here for a short time. I think he's fishing with worms and he's gotten pretty lucky here too. So the fish are really bundling up around here. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna do it for this week's episode. We got really lucky here today. I am honestly surprised. I did not think we were gonna catch any fish here today, but we did. We got some nice browns. We caught a rainbow, which was very surprising. So I can honestly say that today was a huge success. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to do a video this week for you guys and actually do some fishing. Um, last week, I just did an update on the flood um, just so that everyone would kind of know what's going on where I'm at. But uh, we were able to get a fishing video today. So that means that I can get back to doing these videos every single week for you as long as I can find spots to do it. Catching cooks are gonna be delayed, but that's all right. But I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you guys have not, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you all, and we'll catch you next Sunday on another episode. All right, peace out, guys.